Welcome to Ticknell Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 27th of July with me, Patrick Munley. Mountain tensions between the US and China have contributed to a halting in the risk-on rally, but have equally failed to trigger any substantial correction as equities continue to treat geopolitics with a good dose of complacency. The coming week will likely test such approach as, it, as tensions may escalate to a point where the US trade uh, the US-China trade deal appears jeopardised and bulls will know to be pin some hopes <coughs> on positive developments on the US fiscal stimulus front and on the ability of the Fed to once again prove market supportive. The dollar will remain tied to risk sentiment swings, although more bad data when we get US second quarter GDP figures this week, along with the key jobless claims, may put a lid on the ability to uh, for risk to rally further. Also, we have bipartisan talks around the next US fiscal stimulus bill, and they're set to enter a pivotal phase. Republicans have delayed the announcement of their stimulus package till this week, at the end of which the uh, $600 payouts are set to expire. Some reports suggest the intention to bridge the existing payments so that they get reduced but not entirely cancelled. While this, uh, this could hold investors' nerves for a little longer, the size and content of the timing of the, sti of the stimulus package will be the key driver for market sentiment in the coming weeks. Turning to the Fed meeting, uh, look for the Fed to remain uh, a little interest in terms of the FMC to display any hawkish tilt in their message, especially given fresh lockdown measures and concerning jobs data. A reiteration of the bank's accommodative stance appears nothing less than what the markets and the dollar are pricing in, and so suspect a somewhat limited impact from the meeting. From a technical perspective, the dollar index, whilst we hold below uh, 94.96 resistance, I'm looking for a move down to, to test uh, projected descending trendline support down to the 92.50 area. <coughs> Uh, the historic agreement on the EU recovery fund has helped the euro strengthen significantly. Moving ahead, the notion of fresh solidarity within the union creates a positive environment for the euro to cash in on one more on, on the more dollar weakness, with the latter likely to remain the driver of future upside for the pair. In this week's European calendar, the second quarter growth numbers will take centre stage, where a bad read should still be mitigated by the brighter recovery prospects after, thanks to the European Recovery Fund. Along with the German IFO indicator, which is expected to confirm the improvement in sentiment shown in the market PMI surveys, uh, which are released today, inflation numbers will also be watched, although the implications in monetary policy terms are still to be very limited. From the technical perspective, as, um, as the euro holds above this 116 now, I'm looking for a move to test the policy objective at the 118 area. From there, I'd look for a pullback, profit taking pullback to retest 115 ascending trendline support. Uh, in, in terms of sterling, no progress on the UK EU trade negotiations is expected, and with the news headlines suggesting an increased perceived probability of a, a, a no deal, there's little to be optimistic about at this stage. It's a very quiet week on the UK data front, although sterling reaction to positive economic data has been fairly muted given the overriding importance of the UK EU trade negotiations. Sterling price action in response to solid June retail sales and um, due July PMIs have uh, really pro proved that case, really. Um, from a technical perspective, now looking for sterling as we hold above uh, 127.50, I'm looking for a move to test the equality objective at 128.93. Uh, once we get into this area, I'd be looking for a profit taking pullback to retest 127 as support. The yen appears to be gaining momentum as geopolitical tensions emerge and the rally in risk assets seems to be stalling. 
in particular, there looks to be some room for the yen to emerge as the most attractive safe haven option in the G10 in the current environment. Indeed, the dollar has to deal with the combination of an unsupportive data flow and set to get worse, according to most economists, and a dramatic virus situation, which appear to have the potential to partly curb the benefits of risk off. The other safe haven, the Swissy, could still be facing the negatives of improving sentiment in the Eurozone. Should US China tensions uh, continue to evolve in a worrying direction, and in particular if trade concerns creep back into investors' radars, expect the yen to be the main beneficiary in the short term. From a technical perspective, whilst we uh, hold resistance now at the 106.30 area, I'm looking for a move down to test the major equality objective uh, down towards the 104 handle. Uh, from there, we could see uh, a more significant profit-taking move, which would bring us back into retest the 106 from below. And finally, in Australia, the boost from the risk-on rally and the still very relaxed uh, Reserve Bank of Australia comments around the strength of the Aussie have now worn off. If market sentiment fails to show you another uh, proof of extraordinary resilience this week, the Aussie appears to be the most vulnerable to a downside corrections uh, due to its highest correlation to the uh, in, in G10 effects to the Chinese one, uh, lingering virus emergency situations in Australia, and a worsening recovering outlook. Uh, Data-wise, inflation numbers for the second quarter will stand out. The risk of a negative year-on-year -year read appears quite material, although the implications of the RBA monetary policy stance are not at this stage going to be impacted. From a technical perspective, whilst we trade above the 7070 level, I'm now looking for a move to test the 72.85. From there, I look for a profit taking pullback to test the 69.88 as support. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 27th of July.